It's real simple. You just extend your arms forward. I didn't know the hips were going until I saw what happened. I was I just thought I was doing this, but then I guess got a little excited. The hips kind of did their own thing. Let's get right into the nitty gritty. I feel like we need to start with your sack dance. Just what inspired you coming out of those sacks to uh, bust out those moves? So I got two different ones. The first one I described post game was the turn the Kona. And that I actually got from the movie Hot Rod. There's a scene where they're just hanging out in front of a gas station or something like that. And um, the brother of Rod is just kind of spinning around on one foot and I was like that's easy enough like I feel like I could do that um, so that was the first one and then the second actually comes Joe Walker taught it to me he was a big EDM guy he kinda got me on it and it's just, it's real simple you just extend your arms forward I didn't know the hips were going until I saw what happened I was I just thought I was doing this but then I guess Got a little excited, the hips kind of did their own thing. Dennis Gardak got him again. <laughs> and then Dennis Gardak doing an, an interesting sack dance where he just kind of bounced back and forth on his feet. What I loved was when I saw Jordan Hicks, just like without question, yep. he just jumped in with you. <laughs> yeah, so I do it every day at practice, so um, I don't think anybody was too surprised by it. Um, but definitely got got some juice going on the sideline. Who would win a dance battle between your sack dance and Corey Peters? Hmm. In slow-mo, might I In add. In slow-mo? Yes. I feel like he's definitely got me. Um, I don't know. I think we might have to set up a dance battle. I would be down for it. It was your first defensive snaps, and you came out with two sacks. How much is that a testament to the hard work that you've put in? Yeah, I've been working against starting offensive tackles since since I got here on scout team. So I just kind of tried to approach it with the same mindset of, hey, you've, you've gone against starters before. I know I was joking around about being a special teamer, but um, I've gone against starting tackles before and just trust yourself and go out there and, and make something happen. I saw that this offseason you started boxing, so how much has that just helped your game on the field? When I got the call that I was moving to outside, that was something that I picked up. Um, works on hand speed, hand-eye coordination, being able to move your hips and your arms at the same time, being able to kind of get everything in sync, um, obviously conditioning, and uh, just with COVID and everything happening, it was a great stress relief as well. So. I really uh, kind of sunk my teeth into that this offseason. Works his ass off, had two sacks a day, Dennis Gardak. Yeah! Cliff Kingsbury has talked about your story just being so phenomenal, you know, going from flipping burgers to the NFL. You just have such a unique story. How much pride do you take in where you've come from and where you are today? Uh, I take a lot of pride in that. Um, I think especially because early on this wasn't ever – you know, nobody goes to West Virginia State to make it to the league. That's just not like a logical thought. Um, so I think what I take pride in is just focusing on the task at hand. And at West Virginia State, that was improving my football skills. It wasn't getting to the league. And I think being able to look at it increment by increment is kind of what's allowed all those things to stack up to be here. Obviously, losing a guy like Chandler Jones is tough for this entire team, the leadership that he brings, but what kind of impact does that have on this defense? A uh, huge impact uh, now that Chan's not there. Um, he's a big juice guy. Um, everybody kind of rallies around him. Um, but obviously, the season goes on, and uh, we're praying for him, um, hoping nothing but the best for, for the surgery and everything to go well. Um, but let, let's figure things out on the field and let's not miss a beat. Sacked by Gardak right in his face. 